Metaphorically speaking, I don't wanna sound preachy. I don't know if I'm reaching. I don't know if I mean it, but I do have a thesis, something you can believe in. I lost my family by just trying to catch me a buzz. I can agree that enough is enough. I know I'm fucking it up. Remember, I looked in the mirror and I really ain't even know how they was. I just misplaced all the trust, but my intentions was good for. Nothing really, no excuses. I've been going through some stuff you can explore. All of it on Google Curious. Do you wanna know a little more? What if I was innocent this time and it really wasn't high love? Baby, you know how they was. You the same nigga you was, yeah. But I count my wins and all my losses on the same hand When I flip the script, I bet I'm sticking to the game plan Gotta count your lessons and your blessings on your same hand I been on my shit just like a baby that need changing Woe is me, demons in my life, they follow me All I see is demons in my dream when I'm asleep I awake and my demons hop up at their grave R.I.P. Demons in my life want me to cease, but I'ma kick my feet up like I'm Wiz Khalifa. Need to roll some weed up. This shit killing me. You rocking with the hottest in the streets. Streets first TV with a K, not a C. Gang. Red wine, my boy. What it do? What's up with you, man? Screech first TV. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Red wine first interview. Yes, sir. And you really one of the first niggas that I done ever fucked with with this Street First TV interview shit. So I respect Thanks. you and appreciate you very much for that. Yeah. And pretty much this interview today, we just gonna jump straight into it, man. Let's go straight so into it. What's, what's going on with you? I know you got a project coming and all that. We'll talk about that. Okay, the project should be. I don't know when this video is dropping, but the uh shit. If this video drops soon as I think it'll drop, the project could be out three days later. Raw. R A W red wine and whiskey. Okay. So I really wanted to uh, speak for itself as soon as it come out, and uh, of course, Screech First TV. This one of my first uh, major distributing platforms. This one, this the home team. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my first interview here. I don't want to say too much until it come out. If everything in the works like it's supposed to be, then we'll be doing a decoding later on. Yes, sir. And first, first and foremost, I want to ask you. Who is Red Wine? Mm. Okay. Red Wine is somebody that you can relate to. First of all, let me not do it like just no regular artist. First of all, my name is Nicholas Red Wine. So Red Wine is my last name. I used to go by Nick Red, uh, an abbreviation of both names, but I ended up changing it because um, as an artist, I just entered a new point in my life to where I just wanted to be a little bit more real with myself, so that's why I used my last name as my real name. And um, for a little bit of time, it was just red wine. And I think as I started going on and realizing who I am, about three, four months later, I just changed it to red wine to go. <laughs> because red wine is the go. You know what I'm saying? They find out. So as an artist, what does red wine want fans to learn or get from his music? Mm. That's a good question. Uh, I like your question. So look, one of the main things is when I write, most times I'm either writing from, no, all times I'm either writing from a personal experience or I'm writing from something that I've seen and I'm just speaking on a topic that I've seen. So a lot of times I really just want to make music that people can just relate to and connect to. Um, Outside of, you know, some music is fun, but, you know, I don't think, you know what I'm saying, that's all the way my lane. I think I make music that people just can relate to, you know what I'm saying? It ain't always fun. Sometimes it is, just depending on what you're going through, you know what I'm saying? It can be fun situations, it can be bad situations, happy and sad situations. Would you say this project, Red Wine and Whiskey, would define that? Definitely, though. But, <clears throat> Red Wine and Whiskey, or Raw, that's my most personal project today, so it's really more so about myself. Um, once you listen to it, I mean, just listen to it. It's you. Pretty right. Much. That's what all the saying. way. All the way. Do you feel as an artist, being in a city that doesn't have major labels, make it harder to get noticed or something? For sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, anywhere now because everybody rapping. So, it's not like back in the day when, let's say I'm in high school, everybody not trying to be no rapper. 
everybody really ain't everybody really ain't trying to be no rapper. Everybody like hooping and playing football or whatever the hell you doing. You know what I'm saying? You smart, you going to college, whatever. I was just rapping. Like that's that's what I really now. Even back then everybody was like it's a one in a minute chance to just be a rapper. Mm -hmm. But now, okay, like what is it now? One in a one hundred million chance to be a rapper? Like it's 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 magnified, so so speak on that personally coming out of Fort Worth. Because you know Fort Worth doesn't have any major labels here like New York or Cali or anything like that. Speak on from a perspective as a you know, an artist like, hey, we ain't got nothing out here. How how does that work for you? Like how do you maneuver around that? In order to make it better for yourself is what I'm trying to say. We got people that's like solo Lucci. Mm -hmm. Them being on love and hip hop he from Fort Worth. Go Yayo. He got a consistent fan base. He rolled in numbers. Then, you know, I don't really, I don't really want to just keep continue to name drop, but let's just say some people that I know everybody know, but I could just continue on. It's people that's doing numbers that's from Fort Worth, from the city. So I can't just make it seem like, oh, we just totally being slept on. I just can probably say what I'm doing. It. That's not what's popular. Like what I'm doing, like the type of music that I make, is not the music that's trending. And why would you say that? Because it's trend. It's like trend. My I don't make trendy music. You know what I'm saying? I make real life music, so it's a um, authentic fan fan base that's being built. Like it's not like um, and it's like no shade, but it's just like sometimes people like <clears throat> put it like this. If I want to make a song right now that's just hot for the... I done did it before my own self. You know what I'm saying? I'm a victim of... If I want to make some shit like just, what's this riding by? Like they just boom, boom, boom. The beat carried me. And then I'm just saying some smooth shit or some cool shit or some shit you can repeat. That shit going to last, but it's just going to last for a little second. It's not an authentic fan base being built. So the song will be popular. Then when it comes time for me to drop another song, shit, nobody not really checking for it because I'm not doing what I did last time or what I did last time not popular no more. So it's not trendy no more. So you know let me ask you this. Do you feel like music that is to last is not really what's popping right now and the music that's pretty much for now? No, it is like, some. It is okay. it is some of the music that's right now that's going to last forever. Okay. But it's not the ones that's trying to be trendy. It's the people that's... That done, that done paved their way and then created their wave. It's like, it's authentic from them. It's coming real from their heart. Like, this how they feel. That's why that music is going to last. And so that's why I feel like once my music catch on, it's going to be just authentic from the heart. When, when your shit coming from the heart, it's just going to last. That's so it, it don't got to be about a trend. You know what I'm saying? I got real, you know what I'm saying, like they say, or like you say. Like, in, like I say, I got real, like, fans. So, and I still ain't dropped the project, but guess what? Raw is coming out. I, I really want to, what, what, what should I say? Look, by the time this video drop, check the date of this video. Four days later, it'll be up. Straight like Plain that. Plain and simple, Raw. So let me ask Where you want to go? What's up? What's one of the biggest regrets you have in this My biggest regret that I have as an artist is probably not taking it as serious soon enough. That's probably it. So if you're a young aspiring artist, whether you just getting it in it for fun or whether this really what you want to do, you better take that shit serious because you don't know where it can take you and you need to start quick. Fast. That's that's probably my biggest regret as an artist. Being that this is your first project. Do you feel the pressure to deliver a certain quality type of music? I always deliver quality music. Big facts. I don't. I don't feel no pressure about no quality. Like I always deliver quality music. They want it. So p people that know who I am, they know who I am. If they don't, they don't. But that's cool. You and find out. Just to speak on that a little bit more, because you're a very interesting artist. Because you're on Facebook a lot more than more <laughs> most artists are. Yeah. Like you promote yourself is pretty much what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Because I be doing. What, what, go ahead. Exactly. So you promote yourself is what I'm trying to say, and you put your lyrics out there for the world to really, you know, pretty much hear and pretty much judge. You really don't care. So elaborate a little bit more on that. Your 
your mindset when you're doing that. Okay. Um. Uh, just pretty much know, uh, let people know that. <clears throat> See, that's why the raw dropping. See, that's why the red wine and whiskey dropping because I don't have no projects out. So most times on Facebook, I'm just dropping videos and I'm just dropping little freestyles and shit like that to let you know shit I ain't dead, I ain't sleep. You know what I'm saying? I'm still working. But right now, we got the project back to drop. So anybody that support me, uh, you don't support me if you don't go stream because it's finna be everywhere. In fact, like I said, watch the video, you know what I'm saying? And then three, four days later, just hold on. The, the album coming out and then Maybe three, four days after that, we can do the decoding of the album, but just stay tuned, I'm telling you. So more wow. about the project, and, and this is an album, correct? Correct. Okay, and this is your first album, right? First. Okay, so how many songs can we expect on this album? It's going to be six tracks, six records, six, six classics. Six. How about that? Six classics. Boom. Okay, so what's your? do you have a single from that? I don't really. I don't have no single. I really just prefer people just, you know what, you pick whatever song that you like the best, that can be the single for you, but I really just prefer for people to just listen to it. And are you a signed artist? Uh, independent. Independent, so everything is from the ground up? No, nah, every, no, no, no. Yeah, there we go. Everything yeah. for myself, like you said. And the like, tracks on this Red Wine and Whiskey, did you produce any of those? I didn't produce any of them. It's, a, uh, it's four producers. Four producers. Four producers. Any from the city? None from the city. Okay. Is there any artist that you would look forward to working with in the city in the future? That's a good question. You know, this is that question that everybody when, when you get to it, niggas don't want to name nobody. Blah, 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 blah. What are we talking about? Okay. So, <clears throat> I like a few artists from the city. It's not like uh, just looking forward to working with them, but even whether I work with them or not, a couple of artists from the same city that I'm from, I say Neo Soul, and uh, Soul spell S-O-H-L. Uh, prosperity, Prosperity with, without a Y, it's an I. Sam Marie with two E's. You know what I'm saying? Uh, dope artists in the city. Let me think. Uh, Real Williams, you know what I'm saying? Prince Armani. It's a, it's a, it's so many dope artists in the city that um, to answer that question I can't put it like mm -hmm. that, and that's just to name a few. That's you know what I'm saying? Good. Shout out, shout out to everybody I said. Shout out to, I really would name more, but I take up all my little interview time trying to name all the great artists in the city, so I can't do it. All right, while we on the topic of the city, what particular part are you from? I'm from Stop Six. Uh, I spent a lot of time in Eastwood. I got a grandmother that resides there, still resides there, and uh, shit, that's just my side of town. Yeah, Stop Six on the east side of the city. And a lot of people, I mean, Stop Six is a big port for Texas. Like, a lot of people know about Stop Six. Right. So just elaborate a little bit more on Stop Six for us, because, you know, okay. it's Stop Six. A lot Six. of people that heard uh, different elaborations, so you can uh, add this to what you done heard. It's pretty much like you just got to, uh, Hold your own, you gotta know who you know, stay out the way, or you just got to be all the way ready. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't gonna say it's just super duper game, where you just, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's not a game. You know what I'm saying? It's real, it's real life, it's real deal. Self love, self love, self care.